good morning students today we are going to start mole concept and stoichiometry right so this is one of the very important physical chemistry chapter because this is the basic way whenever we are start doing the physical chemistry <clears throat> so we should know what is the mole concept and what is the atom atomic weight molecule molecular weight what is amu so what is atomicity all these are the basic points so in today's video what i am going to cover is what is an atom what is amu means what is atomic weight gram atomic weight mass relative molecular weight all these points we are going to be covered okay so let's start our video today okay see see first what is an atom atom is the what is that atomic weight or atomic mass unit atomic mass unit amu amu means atomic mass unit so what is for this atomic mass unit is used this atomic mass unit is the unit to measure the smallest particles like atoms or subatomic particles we have right so to measure the weight we are using the atomic mass unit okay so what is this uh, this atomic mass amu like we represent in the previous days nowadays there those amu instead of using writing amu we are using small u also that is also representing the atomic mass units here one atomic mass unit will be equals to 1.66 into 10 to the power of minus 24 in grams okay one atomic mass is nothing but 1.66 into 10 to the power of minus 24 in grams and as usual it will be change in kilograms that is 1.66 into 10 to the power of minus 27 kg this atomic mass unit also known as it is also known as as aston dalton and avogram this avogram dalton aston these are also we can call atomic mass unit right and also this atomic mass unit how to represent how how they are measuring see we don't know in the previous days at the starting of while we are starting all these concepts before that what is this concept where from it comes we need one reference compound suppose this is the board i want to measure the length of this board I don't have a scale then what we'll do if I have a some marker or pen I'll measure means I'll use this pen as the reference unit to measure this board length if I measure like this and I can say this board length is 15 times to this pen or 10 times to this pen means this pen I used as a reference like that only that time the carbon c12 isotope is occurring abundantly in the nature so whatever the scientists they want to take some reference compound they have taken carbon as the reference compound so they have given how to identify the mass of some subatomic particular mass of an atom they have taken this carbon atom as the reference so while talking about the mass always we represent that one twelfth mass of the c12 isotope this is the unit for one twelfth mass of the c12 isotope that is we are taking why we have to take carbon only why not nitrogen oxygen no here we are taking this carbon as the reference compound because it was abundant in nature so they have taken so here what is atomic mass unit it is the smallest unit of mass and is used to measure the masses of subatomic particles or atoms like generally it is 1 amu is 1 twelfth part of the c12 isotope carbon isotopes we know what is isotope which has the same atomic number but different mass numbers right like that we have for carbon c612 c613 c614 these are the isotopes in that c12 isotope we are taking one twelfth part of the c12 isotope we are considering as the one amu that one amu value is 1.66 into 10 to the power of minus 24 in grams 1.66 into 10 to the power of minus 27 in kilograms generally this is r am relative atomic mass unit amu is there na so if we want to compare if we want to find for another elements 
I want to find the atomic mass unit of some nitrogen or some oxygen, some sodium, helium. Like that if you want to know, this is the relative atomic mass of the element. You can take for any element. Mass of one atom of that element, suppose if you want to consider, if you want to find out the atomic mass unit of nitrogen, you have to take mass of one atom of that nitrogen element by one twelfth part of C12 isotopes mass. That is called relative atomic mass of element called RAM. Okay, see mass of one atom of an element, suppose simply cross, cross multiply, then you will get relative atomic mass into one twelfth part of the C12 isotope. These are the very basics, right? So, before that, why this mole concept was started? First of all, we should know why we have to study the mole concept. So, what is the purpose of this mole concept? See, for 1 rupee, for, for 100 rupees, how many 1 rupee coins will come? We can know, right? We are able to know for 100 rupees, 1 rupee coins will come 100. Otherwise, you take one chocolate, chalk piece box. Otherwise, one pen box you take. How many pens are there in that box? Or how many chalk pieces are there in that box? We can say by counting. At the same time, I will take one glass of water in that 100 ml of water I have taken. I am asking the question, in that water, in 100 ml of water, how many H2O molecules are there? Can we count those? No, we cannot count. How many oxygen atoms are there? How many hydrogen atoms are there in one glass of water? So, based on that question, this complete mole concept was introduced. Now, by using this mole concept, even though we can calculate how many number of water molecules are present in one glass of water. Okay, how many nitrogen atoms are present in 20 grams of ammonia? How many hydrogen atoms are present in 20 grams of NH? Like that also we can find by using this small concept. So, this is that much important, right? So, these are all the basics. Uh, before going to start this small concept, what is mole? We should know what is gram atomic weight, what is gram molecular weight, what is first of all molecular weight, what is an atom, what is atomic mass, all these units we should know, right? So, this is about atomic mass unit. Atomic mass unit is the smallest unit of, the smallest unit which we use to measure the Mass of the smallest units means like atom or subatomic particles. Generally, this atomic mass unit will define as a 1 C 1 12th part of the C 12 isotopes mass will be considered as a 1 AMU. Right now, now come to the gram atomic weight. What is meant by atomic weight? First of all, the atomic the atoms weight we are considering in grams that is nothing but called gram atomic weight means atomic weight of one element we are expressing in grams that is called gram atomic weight suppose hydrogen is there hydrogen's atomic weight is one i said if your hydrogen's atomic weight one gram if you said that is called gram atomic weight of hydrogen nitrogen its atomic weight is 14 so gram atomic weight of nitrogen is 14 grams means that atomic weight you are representing in terms of grams that is called gram atomic weight. So, here they given C. Atomic weight of hydrogen is 1.008. Gram atomic weight of hydrogen will be 1.008 grams like. Okay. So, that is this is about the atom atomic mass unit and gram atomic weight. Now, come to the molecule. Now, come to the molecule relative molecular mass gram molecular weight, gram molecular volume, right? See, first of all, what is meant by molecule? We know that the group of atoms are called molecules, right? Nitrogen is an atom, but if you take N2, will be a molecule, isn't it? Now, suppose NH3, one nitrogen and three hydrogens are combining, means total four atoms are combining and forming one molecule. The group of atoms gives you the molecule. What is meant by relative molecular mass? The molecular mass of a substance is average molecular mass of that molecule by 1 twelfth mass of C12 isotopes of that atom. Even see, 
wherever we are calculating that relative molecular mass or relative atomic mass previous we have studied about RAM relative atomic mass now we are talking about the RMM means relative molecular mass relative molecular mass is nothing but average relative mass of its molecule by 1 12th part of C12 isotope this is average mass of the molecule by 1 12th part of C12 isotope okay see relative molecular mass or molecular weight is defined as the number of atoms number of times the molecule is heavier than 1 12th part of C12 isotope the relative molecular mass or molecular weight see how to calculate the molecular weight for one compound sum of atomic weights gives you the molecular weight sum of atomic weights gives you the molecular weight how to calculate that atomic weight that is nothing but one atomic mass unit like already we have discussed right so what is meant by gram molecular weight molecular weight of one compound is expressing in terms of gram gives you the gram molecular weight suppose see h2o how to calculate first of all the molecular weight see for hydrogen it is one how many hydrogens we have in h2o two hydrogens we have so two into one plus for one oxygen oxygen so atomic number is eight its atomic weight will be eight plus eight sixteen so it is 16 16 plus 2 gives you 18 18 is the molecular weight of h2o because h2o is called a molecule its weight its mass we are representing with molecular weight so molecular weight is 18 but if you that express in grams then that will be the gram molecular weight if you write the molecular weight 18 grams then this is called gram molecular weight of h2o isn't it now come to the gram molecular volume gram molecular weight is nothing but gmw gram molecular <coughs> sorry volume is nothing but gmv what is this gram molecular volume we have some stp conditions stp is nothing but standard temperature and pressure this stp sometimes in ntp also means normal temperature and pressure conditions whenever we take these stp conditions the pressure will be one atmosphere temperature will be 273 kelvin and the pressure one atmosphere number of moles will take as one that is this different phenomena and whenever you are taking this volume 22.4 liters will take sometimes we some in some books they have given nowadays they have updated that as 22.7 okay as we go like previous one we generally will take as 22.4 liters is the volume that is the fixed volume at stp conditions means standard temperature and pressure conditions like we can say temperature 273 kelvin pressure one atmosphere and volume is 22.4 liters right so the experimental value of one gram molecular volume of gas is given as 22.4 liters if you take in 22.4 liters that is the experimental conditions by doing some experiments we concluded that value that is what we are taken as the stp conditions like it in dm cube if you take that is 22.4 if you take in centimeter cubes 22400 yet stp this is what i am talking stp standard temperature and pressure conditions at stp in the problem if they given stp means you have to take pressure one atmosphere temperature 273 kelvin and volume is 22.4 in liters if you want to take in cubic centimeters that is 22,400 like we have to take okay see so this is about the gram molecular volume this molecular volume if you are expressing in grams like means in units the volume occupied by one gram molecule one gram molecule occupies how much volume is called gram molecular volume okay see so 
the density of a gas relative to hydrogen at the same temperature and pressure is known as the vapor density of the gas see generally we have a some shortcut that is molecular weight sometimes uh, molecular weight will be given they will ask to calculate the vapor density so vapor density equal to 2 into its molecular weight will gives you the oh sorry molecular weight is equal to 2 into vapor density okay so then vapor density is equal to molecular weight by 2 will gives you the vapor density so how did we come this formula molecular weight equal to 2 into vapor density how did they brought this relation that is depends upon they have taken here hydrogen as the reference element hydrogen has taken as the reference gas that is what here the density of a gas relative to hydrogen at the same temperature and pressure is known as the vapor density of that gas if you want to calculate any gases vapor density we have to take that as consider our reference to hydrogen at the same temperature and pressure conditions will gives you the vapor density of that gas if you know that gas is molecular weight molecular weight by 2 will gives you the vapor density how did you come that to 2 that is nothing but from the hydrogen molar mass of hydrogen vapor density equal to molar mass of gas by hydrogen hydrogen is nothing but we are taking as 2 for h2 molecule right h2 2 for hydrogen atom it is 1 for when you are taking h2 that will be the 2 so molecular mass equal to 2 into its vapor density right so what is an atom what is atomic mass unit what is the gram atomic weight what is molecular weight what is gram molecular weight what is gram molar volume and what is meant by vapor density right now we know all these terms before going to the mole, mole, mole concept we should know about this terminology without knowing about this we cannot understand that right now come to the atomicity this is very easy and we all know that atomicity is nothing but how many number of atoms are present that gives its atomicity means the number of atoms present in one molecule of an element is known as its atomicity suppose copper is a copper silver all these metals will exist as monoatomic means they will not a, they will exist independently means copper means co that is one element a, a silver that also az like it is existing all these metals are existing independently those are called monoatomic means why because only one atom we are representing hydrogen you take h2 n2 o2 all these are existing as two atoms are combining and forming a molecule those are called diatomic molecules what is the atomicity of that molecule is 2 because two atoms are combining h2 n2 o2 cl2 i2 i2 means iodine bro, br2 bromine fluorine f2 cl2 chlorine all these are existing as diatomic molecules its atomicity used to so atomicity is nothing but how many number of atoms are present in the given molecule gives its atomicity right suppose we have a triatomic also o3 ozone it is existing as o3 means it is a triatomic three oxygen atoms are combining and forming a ozone molecule so we can say it is a triatomic molecule sulfur if you take sulfur exists with s8 s8 yes, it has a chair form boat form like we'll study the catenation capacity catenation is nothing but forming into the chains that s has a that capacity 8 8 sulfurs can combine and it form a s8 molecule so it is called octatomic or polyatomic generally more than 4 we represent as a polyatomic phosphorus is there p4 it exists as like this p here i'll write p p p p so it exists as p4 so it is the tetraatomic sulfur s8 
it is octaatomic more than 4 we represent that as a polyatomic molecules carbon carbon has c60 this is called buckminster fullerene it is polyatomic 60 carbons will combine and will form the fullerenes that is c60 is called buckminster fullerene that is the atomicity of that molecule atomicity is nothing but number of atoms are combining to form a 1 gram molecule is nothing but called its atomicity see here monoatomic means helium neon argon all the noble gases because they are inert they don't want to combine with any other atoms so they exist individually those are said to be monoatomic diatomic molecules see here h2 cl2 f2 o2 n2 polyatomic these are o3 triatomic p4 tetraatomic s8 we can consider as the polyatomic right so this is the atomicity of that element is nothing but that element to form a molecule how many number of atoms are combining that is nothing but called atomicity of that element right so this is about the atomicity now we enter into the mole before going to start this mole we should know whatever the definitions we have learned till now those are very 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 important right so now come to the point of mole what is this mole why we have to study about this mole what is the use of this mole in our daily life so this mole concept has answered so many unanswered questions as now as of now we have discussed before in one in one glass of water how many water molecules are present before mole concept we cannot answer that question in one chalk box how many chalk pieces are there we can know right but in uh, in a glass of water in one glass of nh3 or in uh, yeah, ammonia molecule 20 grams of nh3 gas you can take in gas or liquid or solid anything how many number of atoms or how many number of molecules are present before the mole concept we are unable to answer but after the mole concept we can find how many number of atoms or how many number of molecules are present in the given amount of the solution or in the given amount of the gas right okay let us see the mole concept first of all who has defined what is the definition for the mole mole the amount of substance which contains the same number of chemical units as there are atoms exactly 12 grams of pure carbon here also we are taking c12 isotope as the uh, reference compound right see so how many number of atoms or molecules are exactly present in the given amount of the substance when compare with the 1 12th part of the C12 isotope will give you the 1 mole will gives you 1 mole the definition is little bit tricky but if you understand that we can understand it is easier see the amount of a substance which contains same number of chemical units as there are atoms in exactly 12 grams of pure carbon in 12 grams of pure carbon how many number of atoms are present the same number of chemical units are present in a compound in the amount of substance is called one mole suppose nh3 is there and 112 the part of c12 12 grams of pure carbon is there how many chemical units are present in 12 grams of carbon the same number of chemical units so amount if you take nh3 that is said to be one mole suppose if you go to the market you ask them give me one kg of brinjal or give me one kg of tomato what he'll take immediately he'll take one kg stone he'll keep in the uh, balance isn't it in that balance they will balance those and he will give that 1 kg stone weighs how much or how many tomatoes that many he will give as 1 kg what is that 1 kg stone using here as a reference for weighing 1 kg of tomato the same thing here 1 12 grams of pure carbon atom has how many number of chemical units the same number of chemical units you are taking in any other substance that is said to be one mole of that substance see here 
वन ग्राम ऑफ हाइड्रोजन इज फाउंड टू कंटेन सिक्स पॉइंट जीरो टू थ्री इंटू टेन टू द पॉवर ऑफ ट्वेंटी थ्री आइटम्स ऑफ हाइड्रोजन सो वन ग्राम ऑफ हाइड्रोजन कंटेन सिक्स पॉइंट जीरो टू थ्री इंटू टेन टू द पॉवर ऑफ ट्वेंटी थ्री नंबर ऑफ हाइड्रोजन आइटम्स मीन्स दिस इज कॉल्ड एबगोड्रो नंबर ऑल्सो This six point zero two three in ten to the power of twenty three is called Avogadro number. The representation is N Y or N L in sometimes, right? So represents generally with N Y is called Avogadro number, which represents six point zero two three into ten to the power of twenty three atoms. So one gram of hydrogen is found to contain Avogadro number of atoms of hydrogen. Thus. A mole represents the collection of this Avogadro number of chemical units. So, simply, how can we define a mole? Avogadro number of molecules of substance we are representing as one mole. Okay. Generally, that is what given the number of Avogadro numbers is called six point zero two three into ten to the power of twenty three. It is represents with N Y so on so. Here, given one problem, see one mole of oxygen atoms. Means six point zero two three into twenty three ten to the power of twenty three atoms of oxygen gives you one mole of oxygen atoms, one mole of nitrogen atoms. Avogadro number of nitrogen atoms gives you one mole of nitrogen atoms, right? So one mole of fluorine ions, ions, molecules, particles, electrons, anything if you take subatomic particles, anything if you take. That one mole represents the Avogadro number of moles. Uh, means Avogadro number of either atoms or ions or molecules, whatever you want to count, that will be equal to the Avogadro number, right? So Avogadro number is nothing but six point zero two three into ten to the power of twenty three. So by using this, we can calculate the number of moles. Number of moles is nothing but number of gram molecules. Number of molecules means in one gram of the substance, how many number of moles are there? In one, two grams of the substance, in two grams of oxygen, how many number of oxygen atoms are there? In ten grams of sodium, how many sodium atoms are there? Otherwise, how many sodium molecules are there? Molecules also we can calculate. So number of atoms, number of gram atoms. Number of molecules, number of gram molecules, we can calculate by using with this mole, right? Okay. See here. Number of gram. How to calculate the number of gram atoms or number of moles? Here the mole is representing the number of gram molecules, like number of gram molecules, like here. See, I'll write you here how to calculate. Suppose see number of gram atoms equal to given weight by gram atomic weight number of gram atoms to calculate the formula given weight of the substance by gram atomic weight of that substance right so number of atoms formula number of atoms equal to given weight by Gram atomic weight into Avogadro number of atoms means six point zero two three into ten to the power of twenty three, right? So if you want to calculate number of gram molecules, if you want to calculate number of gram molecules in the given compound, the formula will be same: given weight of the substance by gram molecular weight. If you take for the atom, that will be atomic weight. If you take for the molecule, that will be gram molecular weight, given weight by gram molecular weight. See, if you want to calculate for number of molecules, number of molecules, formula will be given weight by gram molecular weight into Avogadro number. That Avogadro number is nothing but six point zero two three into ten to the power of twenty three. So these formulas will help us to calculate the how many number of gram atoms are there, how many number of molecules are there, like that. Okay. See. Let us take one example. 
10.6 grams of Na2CO3. Calculate the at number of moles or number of molecules of calculate the number of molecules present in 10.6 grams of Na2CO3. That is the question. So he is asking to calculate number of molecules. So what is the formula to calculate number of molecules given weight by gram molecular weight into Avogadro number? Given weight, how much is given in the problem? 10.6 grams is given. So, at the place of given weight 10.6 by gram molecular weight of Na2CO3. So, you have to calculate Na2CO3's molecular weight for 1 sodium 23. Like that we have 2 sodium. So, 23 into 2 plus for 1 carbon it is 12 plus for 1 oxygen it is 16. For like that we have 3 oxygen. So, 16 into 3. Just calculate 23 2 sir. 2 3 is 6 2 2 are 4 plus 12 plus 48. If you calculate this you will get exactly 106. So, 0.6 by molecular weight of Na2CO3 is 106 into Na value is 6.023 into 10 to the power of 23. So, if you calculate this you will get 0 0.1 here. So, 1 by 10 will give you 6.023 into 10 to the power of 22, right? So, 10.6 grams of Na2CO3 contains how many number of molecules? 6.023 into 10 to the power of 22 molecules. Like this we can calculate even in the given amount of substance, how many number of atoms, how many number of gram atoms, how many number of molecules are present also, we can calculate by using this small concept, okay? Okay guys, thank you. Thank you so much.